A wide variety of off-the-shelf pesticide products are available to control landscape weeds, unwetted insects, and other pests. No training is required to use these pesticides, yet many of the products can be hazardous to people, especially when stored, handled, applied, or disposed of improperly. The results achieved by using chemical pesticides are generally temporary and repeated treatments may be required. Over time, some pests become pesticide resistant. This may force the use of another product or method. If used incorrectly, home pesticide products can be harmful to humans and the environment. As a result, it's extremely important for users to take responsibility for making sure that these products are handled properly. The basic steps in reducing pesticide risks include choosing the right pesticide product, reading the product label, determining the correct amount to purchase and use, using the product safely and correctly, and storing and disposing of pesticides properly. One of the greatest causes of pesticide exposure to humans and the environment is the use of pesticides in and around the home. Improper pesticide storage and disposal can also be hazardous to human health and the environment. The following safety recommendations can help limit the potential for harmful situations. Don't stockpile. Reduce storage needs by buying only the amount of pesticide that you'll need in the near future or during the current season when the pest is active. Follow all storage instructions on the pesticide label. Store pesticides high enough so that they are out of the reach of children and pets. Keep all pesticides in a lock cabinet in a well-ventilated utility area or garden shed. Store flammable liquids outside your living area and far away from an ignition source such as a furnace, a car, outdoor grill, or a power lawnmower. Never store pesticides in cabinets with or near food, animal feed, or medical supplies. Always store pesticides in their original containers, complete with labels that list ingredients, directions for use, and first aid steps in case of accidental poisoning. Never transfer pesticides to soft drink bottles or other containers. Children or others may mistake them for something to eat or drink. Use child-resistant packaging correctly. Close the container tightly after using the product. Child-resistant doesn't mean child-proof, so users must still be extra careful to store pesticide out of children's reach. Don't store pesticides in places where flooding is possible or in places where they might spill or leak into wells, drains, groundwater, or surface water. If the contents of a container can't be identified or if the age of the contents are unknown, use the following disposal recommendations. The best way to dispose of small amounts of excess pesticides is to use them. If you can't use them, ask your neighbors whether they have a similar pest control problem and can use them. If all of the remaining pesticide can't be properly used, check with the local Solid Waste Management Authority, Environmental Agency, or Health Department to find out whether there's a Community Household Hazardous Waste Collection Program or a similar program for getting rid of unwanted leftover pesticides. These authorities can also provide local requirements for pesticide waste disposal. State and local laws regarding pesticide disposal may be stricter than the federal requirements on the label. Be sure to check with state or local agencies before disposing of pesticide containers. If no community program or guidance exists, follow the label directions for disposal. To dispose of less than a full container of liquid pesticide, leave it in the original container with the cap tightly in place to prevent spills or leaks. Wrap the container in several layers of newspaper and tie it securely. Put the package in a covered trash can for routine collection with municipal trash. If regular trash collection service is unavailable, take the package to a permitted landfill. No more than one gallon of liquid pesticide at a time should be thrown out with the regular trash in this manner. Wrap individual packages of dry pesticides in several layers of newspaper and tape or tie the package closed. Put the package in a covered trash can for routine collection. 
no more than five pounds of dry pesticide at a time should be thrown out with the regular trash in this manner. Never pour leftover pesticides down the sink, into the toilet, or down a sewer or street drain. Pesticides may interfere with the operation of wastewater treatment systems or pollute surface and groundwater. Many municipal systems aren't equipped to remove all pesticide residues. If pesticides reach waterways, they may harm fish, plants, and other living things. An empty pesticide container can be as hazardous as a full one because of the residues left inside. Never reuse such a container. When empty, a pesticide container should be rinsed carefully three times and the rinse water thoroughly drained back into the sprayer or the container previously used to mix the pesticide. Use the rinse water as a pesticide following label directions. Replace the cap or closure securely. Dispose of the container according to label instructions. Don't puncture or burn a pressurized container like an aerosol. It could explode. Do cut or puncture other empty pesticide containers made of metal or plastic to prevent someone from reusing them. Wrap the empty container and put it in the trash after you've rinsed it. Many communities have programs to recycle household waste such as empty bottles and cans. Never recycle any pesticide containers unless the label specifically states that the empty container may be recycled after cleaning. Following these EarthKind recommendations for pesticide safety and handling will greatly help reduce the risk to human health and help in creating a healthy and sustainable environment. This concludes the module on pesticide safety and handling. For more information, we invite you to visit our website at earthkind.tamu.edu.